Hello everybody, it's your boy Insane Blaine here and right outside of Cleveland, Ohio at uh, Spooky Ranch. Getting ready to do the hayride, a couple haunted houses. Um, I already asked, I am not allowed to film here for this attraction, so I will just do a rate and review once I go through everything, so stay tuned. So here's kind of their one haunted house facade. This one's called Extreme Nightmares. The other one's over there called the saloon. We just went in this building over here. It was uh, the clown house. And then they have a haunted hayride. It's a pretty cool, nice little place. Uh, it's about an hour and 20 minute drive from where I live. Um, it's 27 bucks for adults to get in. That gets you admission to the haunted hayride in the houses. It's uh, $15 for children, 10 and under. So it's pretty good that they run that deal. They also have other packages where you could just do the house or just a hayride. Uh, check out their website for more info. Stay tuned, guys. There's, this is the Gunslinger Saloon. Oh, it's slick. Got pretty cool props. Creepy people over there. It's pretty cool. Say hi, bro. Are you going to give your rate and review after we're done too, bud? Real? Yeah, okay. What is that? Is that a bird? Yeah. Oh, it is. There we go, guys. Here you go, bud. That was pretty good. Marijuana! Too bad! Bring that down! Bring that down! Kind of an old west facade. Welcome to my coffee cup. I sell coffee to the living. But I like those sounds. <laughs> I have big ones, medium ones, small ones for the little ones. I got ones that are half off for the dim living people. <laughs> <laughs> the ones who do get it. <laughs> you know what they are. <laughs> get them out of here, driver. Just to fair warn everybody, Earl has not oh, had a good day today. Wow. And we don't have miracle for though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Somebody in the potty. Ah! Oh, he sprayed. And somebody peed out the potty. <laughs> No, I missed it. Ah, giant rat or dragon, whatever. I better run. I. What's up? 
Scarecrow. Chainsaw. Coming at you from all angles, huh, bud? <laughs> and Jason's back there. Grandpa! Toxic wasteland kind of thing. Oh, I like it. Fog machine. I think this is the gallows. And you remember Bee Body? Bee Body. Yeah, Mr. Like Bee Body, where the dog. Oh yeah. This is the. This is my. You'll find out. Kill him. One of them was gonna be real. That, <laughs> that was cool. So you walk out of my house, you're not gonna get that scary. <laughs> I am sorry, not sorry. Uh oh, we got a big skull or something right here. Where is that? I don't know. Tiki hat or something. Yeah, the cemetery in the barn, right? 
He would, I gotta talk to him. He would, he has, he's gonna do most, he wanted to check the hands weren't up both sides. Cemetery. We got the mausoleum. That little thing called mausoleum. No. It's pretty good no, cemetery facade. Not good I don't know. The hearse. Mm -hmm. Another mausoleum. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to do the finale of the hayride called The Evil Barn. Get ready. I knew I was going to have an issue with him. It's not my fault you got pulled over. Here we go. That was the Haunted Hayride and the Evil Barn at the end. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I'm going to rate and review here in a minute. Okay, uh, my rating tonight for everything all together, I give it a six and a half, seven out of ten skulls. Um, it was fun. It's definitely family friendly. If you have young kids, this would be a good starter haunt to bring them to. Or if you want the whole family to go, this is a good one to go to. Um, price wise, I think it's a little pricey for adults. Twenty seven dollars for four attractions. The haunted houses are all like five to six minutes long, and the hayrides maybe fifteen minutes long. So it's kind of short. The hayride's pretty cool, as you guys saw in the video. Um, 
I think you can just pay and just do the hayride if you'd like to do that. But uh, all together, I had a fun time. Um, I just wish the price was a little bit cheaper and some of the houses were a little bit longer. What do you think, bro? I agree. I give it a six and a half out of ten too because it's not all that. Elena could have went to this one. Yeah, sissy, you could have. But she didn't want to. But love you guys. Peace.